All right, so I want to go over making an alias just quickly. It's pretty simple stuff. You don't have to work real hard at it, but people can get a little confused sometimes because they don't really think about the parts and pieces. So I'm going to kind of show you how to do that. So we're going to build up just a basic statement. Real simple, nothing special. And we're going to work from HS Cust. What we're going to do is we're going to use the Cust ID here. Now, remember I always say build these things up in pieces, check each piece, make sure it works, and then do the next piece. So I'm going to do the same here. So I'm not going to put an alias in just yet. I'm going to start by just doing my select statement, making sure I get Cust IDs. Oh, well, I don't, so there must be something wrong. Let's get rid of those. All right, good. And you can see that would have been a real problem if I had built a whole big thing that I didn't understand yet. So get something working, then add the next piece. So we're going to add the most simple of aliases. We're just going to do as, and we're going to call it customer ID. And we're going to check it. So now I should have one column called customer ID, and it's still all the aliases. Perfect. So that's an alias in the simplest form. Now, what if I wanted it to be customer identity? So that's two words, identity. Well, I'm going to get this problem here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it in quotes, double quotes. Now it sees that it all is one word, right? As far as SQL is concerned, that's just one word. And it'll show down here all nice and neat. Now let's say I want to go just a bit farther here, and uh, I want to not make it one word. I would have to take that space out. And that's still OK, too. The key is it has to be one thing. SQL doesn't like it when it's multiple words. Right. Now, let's say I want more than one thing as my customer identity. Maybe my customer identity should be my, include my last name and my first name. OK, well, I don't have any errors, so it must be OK, right? Hmm. I got a cust ID, I got a last, and then I got this customer identity that's only the first. Well, what did I do wrong? Well, sure enough, remember, aliases only like to work on the one thing just to the left of them. So each of these columns, I mean, each of these co uh, commas makes it another thing. So I actually have three things here. So, of course, my customer identity is only going to work on this one to the left of the as, which is first. So if I wanted all of these things to show up as customer identity, I have to do things a little bit differently because these all need to look like just one thing to the left of the as. Well, I can do that with a function. I can put them all inside a concat. Now, what's happening when I put them inside a concat? Concat is a function, and it says take everything inside my brackets and make it one thing. All right, so now inside these brackets, cust ID last and first are all one thing, and they're all mixed together. All right, there's just, just, it just says cust ID last first, and they all blended together. As far as SQL is concerned, for output, that's just one thing. And then customer identity says make the one thing to my left an alias. So concat is one thing. Everything inside of it becomes part of one thing called concat. So now I'm going to get this really jumbled up thing, but it's going to look exactly like I'd expect it. Customer identity, and then everything to the left of customer identity in that concat statement is all jumbled together. There's my customer ID, my last name, and my first name. Now if I wanted to make that make a little more sense, I could go in here and I could put spaces. Excuse me, we single quotes. Space. Don't forget our comma. space. Now this is all still one thing because you can see it's inside the concat function. Concat says everything in my brackets. Make it one thing. Jumble it all together. And customer identity is an alias. It says take everything on the left hand side, the one thing in this case, and customer identity. Now when I go I'm going to get them all nice and neat. Now just to show that we're looking at one thing, if I were to go in here and put cust ID again here, now I'm going to have two columns, right? I have a cust ID column, and I have a customer identity column, because this is one thing. Remember, the column says, the comma says it's a different thing. 
So take a look. Now I'll have Cust ID and Customer Identity. That's aliases in a nutshell. Now, the next confusion comes when people want to use these aliases and other things. Like if I want to come down here and put my where in, and I want to say where equals something. It won't matter what it equals because it won't work. So I'm going to get an error on this. And the reason is because this where happens before the select statement. Now, I know that blows your mind just a little bit, but let's think about the order of operations or the order of processing. What happens when you do an SQL statement is even though you put them in this order over here, it actually runs them in a slightly different order. What it does is it first says, OK, what table am I looking at? So what table am I looking at? HS Cust. Let's move this over a little so we can look at both because it needs to know what table it's on before it can look for what's inside the table. So it says, all right, what table am I on? And creates a subset from that table. Then it says, if there's a where statement, go pull out everything in that where statement. Well, in this case, it's not going to because customer identity is a select statement. And look, select doesn't happen until way down here. So it has no idea what customer identity is. It would know what cust ID is, because cust ID is in the table. So now this will work, because it's going to say, look at HS cust, and then look at all the customer IDs in HS cust. Find the ones that are equal to zero, which none of them are. And then it'll go through the group by, the having, and then the select, second to last, and then the order. So the big takeaway, the big takeaway here is that these things you do in your select statement, these creating of of aliases is not going to work until much later in the process.